Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we will work on exercise 5. This is a pretty easy exercise. If you would like, you can take a screenshot now. And I'm going to minimize this. Let's start a new template. And we have the part template open. Let's go for sketch, create a new sketch. And let's uh, start the sketch on the top plane. If you, have, if you have other ideas, you are always welcome to use that and uh, do it. So, I'm just going to create this portion. That's our first portion. Let's start dimensioning this. So that would be 25. Eighty forty five twenty, and our sketch is fully constrained as it's completely turned to black. Now let's exit the sketch and then go for extrude boson base and we can give the extrude value as 10 mm that's already selected and now we have to create the small portion over here so to do that we can select this face this face here and go for the sketch and simply create a rectangle and dimension that rectangle as 10 mm exit the sketch and now okay this rectangle is not in full length so let's go back to that sketch edit the sketch and just go for the normal view just pull this downwards if it doesn't happen it means that there is a coincidence constraint there you can delete that constraint and you can pull it down and you can mention the dimension that it would like to follow so you can give it as uh, 15 alright now you can dimension that with this give it a zero and now go and create extrude once again so now you can see that that uh, this pro portion is coming on the opposite side so let me just show you what exactly I'm talking about if I give 25 here and if I click on confirm you'll, you'll be able to see that it's created but it's not created in the right place it should be over here so you have all you always have option to go back to that sketch and make any modification that you would like to do you can always do that by going over here 
and you have zero here right so you can just increase that by maybe um, and just exit the sketch now and just rotate it you'll be able to see that the result is uh, as we wanted it to be now let's uh, create another portion over here so that should be 10 mm thickness and 25 mm on this direction so I'll just simply go over here and click on the sketch and create a rectangle and then dimension it with respect to 25 and 10 mm and exit the sketch and rotate it before you do the feature you can just review it by uh, keeping it over here and if it looks good you can go for extrude and extrude it with 30 mm because already 10 is consumed here 40 minus 10 is 30 so you can always give 30 here you can just go for tick mark and that will get confirmed so that's all about uh, this exercise 5 tutorial and you can try out different ways of doing this so that you will have your own hands-on uh, experience with uh, you know experience with this exercise and also experience with these uh, tools that I've used and that's all if you have any doubts you can always uh, comment below the video and also stay tuned for the next uploads thank you so much and stay tuned